back to my fitness channel. I'm Allison, and today I'm bringing you into a live total body conditioning workout exclusively on my digital studio app. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest videos. On my app, I teach live weekly classes total body conditioning. This is a mix of strength and cardio, and we also include core and a full warm up and cool down. We'll be alternating between strength and cardio, and I'll be demonstrating low and high impact versions for most of the moves, but definitely choose the option that's best for you. We'll be completing three blocks containing three to four moves each for two rounds, 45 seconds on and a 20 second rest in between. A full warm up, cool down, and core section is also included. If you have any questions about my fitness app, please leave a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you right away. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Deep breath, inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, let it out. Good. Inhale, reach, exhale out. If you need to shake out those arms, go for it. Deep belly breath, good. Where you're at, give me two more. Inhale, big reach. Exhale out, one more. And then take those feet out wide. Let's tap it out, nice and light right here. Tap, tap, good. Hands on the hips, knees are soft, heels are down. Alternate arm, press it out. Press, press, good. So take your time with this warm up. We wanna make sure everything is nice and warmed, full body we are working today. Good, reach the arm overhead, lift. And as we move on, start to make the movements a little bit bigger. Good, back in front. Change the arms, both arms chest press. Let's start to drop the hips a little bit lower. Good. And both arms overhead reach. Drive the elbows down and back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. In four, here's three. Back in front for your chest. Good. Coming up, pretend like you're holding some light weights. Quick bicep curls up and down. Up, quick, good. Now changing the legs to knee lifts right here. Step and curl. So anytime you're lifting knees up, think of it like a standing crunch. Abs are tight, standing tall. Exhale when the knees come up. Whew. Stay there for four. We're gonna try to double these, you ready? Doubles for two. Two on the right, two on the left. Do it again. Take it up. Four more. Here's four, three, two. Start with the hands on the hips. Outer thigh, side to side. Little pendulum right here. Again, knees soft, heels down. Lift. If you like, add some arms, little tricep extensions to the sides. Perfect. Three, two, tricep kickback, hamstring curls. Step and curl. All we're doing is bring those heels up to the glutes. Stay it for eight. All right, just like we do with the knees, we're going to double these. Ready? Doubles for two. Two on the left, two on the right. Again, take it up. Ooh, four more. There's four, three, here's two. Now, inner thighs, pull it up and down. Reach, lift, bringing that leg up from the hip. If you need to shorten that range, go for it. That's fine. Good. This is going to transition right to that hip opener step touch. If you know it, go with me. If not, stay here and watch. In three, two, starting with the next one, circle that knee, step together. Good, circle and step. Feeling good, add the squat. Just a quarter or half squat. Does not have to be big at all. Down and lift. Perfect. We have four more just like this and then we're gonna hang out in that squat position. Last two. Okay, let's hold this last one out. Squats down and up right here for four. Think about squeezing the glutes. Press those hips back like you're going to sit in a chair. Pulse it, double time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, singles, down and up two times. Down and lift. Hold this one down, hands on the quad, slow flat back. Take this first one all the way up. Flat back down. You know it, stop midway. Dip one shoulder in, look over the other. If you need to go ahead and take a little bit wider stance, go for it. Center of switch, other shoulder. And then center this up, round all the way to stand. Last couple things, wiggle those feet a little wider than the shoulder width apart. Lateral side lunges. 
Now you've known the different variations we've done with this today. I am gonna do that windmill if you'd like to do it. Hands behind, rotate externally, reach, center, other way. We'll just do this for about 20 seconds. If you're not feeling the rotation, you do not have to do this. Just stick with your stationary laterals side to side. Good, 10 more. And then we'll end with that flat back. In four, three, two, take your last one, finish it up. Hands on those quads, walk it in, flat back down all the way up one vertebrae at a time, head and shoulders last. Once you're on top, three shoulder rolls go back. Three forward. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale down, one more time, feet together on the toes, reach. And let it out, good job. Take a moment, get a drink, get your weight, and we're gonna start with our first block. Three blocks, three to four exercises each, 45 on, 20 second rest. I'll probably do an alternating strength and cardio for most of these. First one is a new combo move. So go ahead and watch. I have my weights together. This can also be done with just one heavier weight. We're doing an over the rainbow with a side to side squat. So over the rainbow basically is shoulder to shoulder. So I'm gonna start here. Squat to the side, shoulder, center up, other side together, make sense? So it's over the rainbow, shoulder to shoulder, step out to the side squat, step together, repeat other way. 45 seconds on the clock, if this double weight gets to be too heavy, just use one dumbbell for it. These do kind of sneak up on us. Okay, so lock them together. I'm gonna go this way first. Stack it over the one shoulder in three, two, going over to your right side, squat to that shoulder and then come back. There we go. Want to get those first couple down. <laughs> it's the same pattern, so think over the rainbow, over the head, and see what I said about the double weight. It starts to get heavy, heavier, so just drop a weight if you need to. But take your time. Breathe. If you need to shorten this range, you can always just hold the weights here and do your side to side. So this is kind of substituting our shoulder press, which we like to add in <laughs> pretty often. All right, just five more seconds, one or two more in. Four, three, two, stop. Put the weights down out of the way so you don't trip on them. To get the heart rate up pretty quick, out, out, and in, out, out, and in. These are great because you can go slow. You can maybe make it slower and bigger. That's fine. So 45 seconds, out, out, in, in, in four, Three, two, here we go. And halfway through, I'll cue you to switch your lead leg. So just stick with the same lead leg for now. So whichever version you're doing, heels are down, knees are soft. You can go quick, you can go slow, you can go slow and big, a little more powerful. Okay, about five more seconds, then we're switching. Smooth transition. Three, two, one, switch, other leg. Woo! And my arms just kind of pump however. Good. Again, as fast or slow as you like. Keeping that good form. We're picking up one of your moderate to heavy dumbbells next. In three, two, and stop. One moderate or heavy. I'll show you what it looks like. You decide. Holding horizontally. Shoulders back, front raise. Rotate, one, two, three, four, center up, and then we lower. So do one, see how it feels. It's easier to grip with one. Ready, set, front raise, hold it there, like you're turning a steering wheel, 180 degrees. Three, four, center up, lower back down. So it's up, alternate the hand on top. It's a little bit more spicy shoulders. Elbows stay soft, and we're working the core, so keep it nice and tight. If you're not feeling the rotation, just do traditional front raises. One or two arms. Whew. Good. Up. You've got it, you've got it. I'm gonna do one more cardio move after this and then we'll get a little extended recovery before you hit your second set. Three, two, and stop. Weights down. Okay. Next one we have, we're doing power knee up. So we step. Knee lift, 
step, switch, up, knee. And if you don't want to add a hop, you don't have to. Up, knee, switch, switch, up, knee. Ready, set, and here we go. Step, knee, switch, let's start slow. Up, knee, switch, switch, up, knee, switch, switch, up, knee. If you want to add hops, you can. Again, always making sure heels touch down. If you want to just lift on the toe, that's still low impact right there, but it's a little bit more power move. Whew. Good. And if you have floor space, use it. 20 seconds. Extend recovery on the other side. Breathe. Good. Finish in 10. Whew. Up. Reach. Last five. Four, three, two, and walk it out. Good job. Take about 30, 40 seconds. Get a drink. Come back. Set number two. Quick review your first move. Double weight or single weight. Now that you know what we have coming up, we'll take it to one shoulder, over the rainbow, squat, all the rainbow, squat. All right, so 15 seconds we start. Go ahead, pick the weight you want. I'm gonna stick with my two lighter. All right, going in eight. So a little bit of room side to side. I'm gonna start over this shoulder this time. Three, two, and here we go. Squat, rainbow. Take your time. Again, really big movement here. Shoulder to shoulder. Ooh, so good. Now we've got this. Down, up. We just passed that halfway. Stay, stay with it. I know, if you ever need to, drop a, drop a weight. Keep it moving if you can. Oh my gosh, 10 seconds. Ooh, we get to put the weights down. Quick out and ins. Four, three, two. Put it down. Walk around, shake up those arms. Okay, you know it. Out, out, in, in. As slow or fast as you like. Remember, nice and light on your feet. If you're going quick, halfway through time, we'll switch that lead leg. In five, three, two. I'm gonna start with this leg first. Let's go. So try to keep those shoulders relaxed during this time because we know our second strength move is back to hitting shoulders again. Knee soft, heels down. Remember, you can slow it. You can take it big. Out, on and in, right? Whew, five seconds, then we switch the lead. Three, two, switch. Other way. Okay, 20 seconds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Get through this move. You're halfway through the exercises in block one, set two. Eight. Nice work, nice work. Stay with it. Three, two, and stop. Give yourself like five more seconds before you pick up the weight. Hold it horizontally, front raise, rotations for four. Okay, going in 10. I am gonna go with my little bit lighter one this time. Hold it horizontally, shoulders back, and let's do it. Take it up, four, three, two, one, center up, lower, up. So full 180, Woo! good. Working that shoulder mobility as well, and that rotator cuff, elbow staying soft, halfway, Keep it going. Good. Breathe. Last 12. Maybe get one or two more full ones in. Six, five, three, two, and put it down. Whew. Finishing with those alternating knee raises. Hop is optional or keep it low. Don't like the arms stick with those alternate knees. All right, last one coming up, and then we're moving on to block two, which we will still be standing. In three, two, and let's go. Up, switch, up, lift, switch, switch. Now, since this is the second time that we're doing this, make it a little different than the last time. Maybe step back farther if you have the floor space. 
Bend those knees a little more. Boom, reach. Good. Come on, a little extra power there for the last 23 seconds. Step. Awesome. 15. Breathe. A little higher if you are hopping. Whew. Step back a little farther. You look great. Four, three, two, walk it out. Whew. Block one is done. Knock it over. Block number two is coming. Get a drink. Come back with your weights. We are stepping back. Palms face in. Angle so you can see. Reverse lunge hold. Rear delt fly. So rear delt, palms face in, driving the elbows back and up, and then lower. So it's step, hold, lift, squeeze, step, hold. So the weights will be in front of that knee so you don't knock it. All right, 45 on the clock. Choose your weights and a little bit of room behind you. Shoulders back. Ready? In three, two, let's step back. So keep that hinge forward so you can get the range. See that? I'm hinging a little bit more than I would for a regular reverse lunge, and that's fine. We're still protecting that front knee. Good, let those elbows lead. If you ever need to modify this, you can take it back, alternate, back, alternate, and just kind of shorten that range for the lunge. 15 seconds. Woo. Yes. Stay there, stay there. Three, two, stop. Put the weights down. We have a little TikTok. Out of thighs glutes, getting them fired up. Now, if you don't want to add arms, you can just have a little double hop side to side. If you want to add some arms here, or you can go side to side. So lots of different ways you can do this. I'll mix my version up as we go on. Three, two, and here's your basic. I'll do no arms first. Double hop, kicking that leg out. You can add some arms. You can take it without the hop. Truth, this one's actually a little harder <laughs> when it comes to the muscles feeling it. Sometimes I like to do a hybrid. I'll do like four or six of these, and then I'll do this for about five or 10 seconds and then go back. So you can do that as well. Just play around with it. So just like before with the cardio, you wanna keep the heels down. Knees are soft. Good. All right, seven seconds and we're picking those weights back up. Four, three, two, and stop. Grab the weights. We're doing. Stationary, lateral lunges with the rows. You know that one, right? Feet get to stay planted, moderate or heavy weights. Four, three, two, lunge side. Row it, come up, nice and smooth other way. So mainly an upper mid back motion. So if you want to omit the legs, you can. Another option, is to take it here where you do alternating row and you trade hands every time. So that is another way you can do this. 12 seconds. Woo. Good. Now we're gonna finish with one more cardio in four, three, two, and one. Off to the side. All right, one of my favorite light cardio ones. Lateral tap, lateral tap, lateral tap reach. Lateral tap hop, whatever you like. So whatever you're doing, tapping out to the side. Last move, block two. Ready? Let's go. I'm actually gonna keep this one low impact. So if you're here with me, you can still make it big. Knee soft, you can add a rotation if you wanna sneak in a little bit extra abs. Again, you can do smaller and hops, whatever you like. Get to this. We'll be done with round one, block two, and officially halfway through these circuits. Got it. Press. Whew. 
Good, 15. Last 10, last 10. A little bit bigger for five, four, three, two, and stop. Whew. Walk around, take your 40 seconds, get a drink, come back. Quick review, you have your weights in hand. We'll step back, wide grip, reverse fly or rear delt fly, come on back up. Mod light or moderate weights is what you wanna have in hand. Go ahead and grab them. We're starting in 10 seconds. Let's do it. You know the four moves. Let's make the second round even bigger and better than the first. Shoulders back, palms in. Three, two, step it back. Wide grip, palms face in. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Remember, we're leaning forward so we can get that range and really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Less than 30, more modification. You can always step back, do an alternating, and really shorten up that range with the uh, lunge as well. Woo! Let's go. Up. Got it. Nice work. Five seconds. Three, two, and stop, good job. All right, mixing up the cardio a little bit. We're gonna go back to that lateral tap. Hop, no hop, arms or no arms. All right, let's hit it in about five seconds. Four, three, two, and let's go. Tap it out. Whew, good. Press, press. We've got this. You want to make it a little bit bigger than you did that first time, go for it. Challenge yourself. Get the heart rate up. Halfway. Press, press. Whew. You've got this. Come on, come on. Coming up in 12. Picking those weights up. Stationary lateral lunge with the rows. Last six. Four, three, two, Ooh, walk it out, shake it out. Give yourself a few seconds. Nice and wide. Row and squeeze. Row and squeeze, all right? All right, keep hitting it in 10. Choose your weights accordingly. You know you can always do singles as well. Three, two, step into it. Lunge. Row. Good. Spine and neck staying in a neutral position. So keep those eyes down. Again, driving those elbows up and back. Main focus is your row, so if you're not feeling the lunge, you can always stay here. Whatever you like. Woo. Good job. You only have that one more cardio move after this. Breathe. You look awesome. Finish in five, weights are down. In three, two, and stop. Place it down. Tick tocks, how you like. Side, side, here, here. All right, mix and match. Maybe do some strength, mix with that cardio. Three, two, start with the hands, hips. You can see the legs, A little light double hop. Add some arms if you want. Take out the hop. Hit that strength. Lift and squeeze. Whew. And then we need a break from that. Take it here for a few. And then you can go back and hit this. <laughs> you got it. Come on, just 20 seconds. And guess what? Block three, we're hitting the ground. So that'll be your extended recovery for this workout, a little bit longer extended. We'll get your mat. We'll bring your weight with you, and we're still in our multi-set block for the final. All right, three, two, and stop. Oh, get a drink, get your mat, set it up, bring your weight there, block three's on the floor. Let's go ahead and grab your weights, lying down on your back, 
palms facing in. We're gonna go ahead and do a chest fly, press, and then combine with the skull crusher. Boom, cross. So we hit fly, palms face in, not quite touching. Bring it down to the temples of your head and extend. All right, so we'll say moderate, maybe heavy if you're feeling challenging, but this is still a repeater set. So 45 seconds on the clock, three exercises this um, third block. Let's go in 10, line your back. So all upper body here, take a breath, arms up, elbow soft, three, two, one fly, one skull crusher, temples of the head, drive up, open up. So all upper body here, squeeze that top end. Whew. Down a lift. Yes. Come on. You've got this. Breathe. Nice work, nice work. Stay with it, another uh, 10 seconds. You've got it, you've got it. And then we're gonna use one weight and place it on our hips and go right to a hip bridge exercise. Three, two, bring the weights down. I'm gonna turn my body so you can see me a little bit. Weights on the hips, feet together, knees flare out. We take it up, little press with those knees in, open, and then lower. Up, press, in and out, that's your move. All right, so weights on your hips, feet together, knees out. Three, two, and here we go. I'm gonna add an advanced option to this in about 15 seconds if you wanna try it. All it's gonna be is this exact same motion, except I'm gonna lift my heels up. So it looks like this, heels are up, getting a little bit of extra calf action in there, and then down, and they stay up the whole time. So this is your advanced option for this exercise. We have 20 seconds remaining, out, and then in. Good. And then our third move is another big strength move for biceps and shoulders and core. Four, three, two, bring the hips down, flip it over. High plank, bicep curls. Squeeze the glutes, curl, Set the weight down, curl. If your weights are rounded here, I want you to just come up to a kneeling position and do bicep curls. All right, so you don't wanna roll on this. Ready, set, here we go. So squeeze the glutes, curl up, set it down. Curl the other side, set it down. Now, your goal is to keep those shoulders stacked. Hips are stacked. Try not to wiggle too much side to side. If you need to, drop the knees. There's your knee version right here. Still challenging. And like I said, if you have round, rounded weights, go ahead and take, just do kneeling bicep curls. Extend and recovery on the other side. I said there's only three. I'm gonna hold to it. Whew. We have about 10 seconds. Come on. I know these are hard. I think I did this to this last time. We did this as your last exercise. Three, two, and stop. I didn't learn from my mistake. We're committed now. All right, go ahead, bring it up. Just take 30 seconds, get a drink, and then let's hit those three moves again. Because we're going strong again with the chest fly, the skull crushers. When you're ready, get your weights, go ahead on your back. Let's start in 10 seconds already. Let's do it. Final round. Deep breath, inhale. I'm gonna start my arms up. Ready, set. Flies, up, skulls, temples of the head, squeeze on top, inhale, exhale, inhale down, exhale, press up. Yes, I love this combo. Chest and triceps are great complementary muscle groups to each other. Squeeze. You've got it, you've got it. 16 seconds. Keeping that core tight. Remember, we get to stand our back, so this is a nice, relaxful transition between, and if you want, one weight on your hips for those bridges. Three, two, go ahead and just hang out where you are. Put a weight down. Remember, if you'd like, heels up, 
while we do the same move. If not, go ahead and keep the heels down. Okay, seven seconds we begin. Second to last exercise in the circuit. Three, two, engage that core. Let's lift, press those knees, open, down. So just for funsies, if you ever do this again on your own, put a mini band around mid thigh and do the same move and then you have a bonus, you'd have the mini band and then you can have the weight still. And we'll do that one day in class. <laughs> Good, stay here, stay here. Okay, try to relax those arms because you know we have our high plank bicep curls coming up shortly. Lift, squeeze. These last couple. Three, two, and one. All right, rock it up, flip it over. Final move, powerful move, high plank with the alternating biceps. Remember, you know your option, drop to the knees or go into a kneeling position. We're starting in five seconds already, so get stacked up. Three, two, here we go. If you feel unsteady, you can even take a little bit wider stance. Squeeze the glutes, abs in, stack those shoulders. Same rules apply even if you're here. Curl, curl, good. Come on, I know. You're ending so strong. Woo. All the way. 20 seconds. Don't think about it. Just do it, just do it. Even those hamstrings are staying super active here. Up. Yes. Three, two. Drop the knees, sink and stretch. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. Whew. Do that breath again. Inhale, breathe. Shut up those arms a little bit. And exhale. So good. Bring it up. Grab a quick drink. Let's finish off with some core work and then we'll roll right into your final stretch. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and join me in a seated position to start. Let's go ahead and plant those feet down, hands behind the legs, scoop that belly button, and then sit up. Starting with those half rollbacks, just for a few, just to sort of let that heart rate come down a little bit. Activate the core a little bit more. And you know this progression, you can start to release the hands. You can start to bring it back to shoulder blades touch. You could do your full arm swoop. I didn't give not, did not give myself enough space on my left arm to swoop all the way. But that's what that one looks like. Inhale back, exhale lift. Give about 15 more seconds, whichever version you like. And then we are gonna go right to a boat pose hold or V-sit hold, however you like to see it. Heels can be down or your legs can be up at about tabletop position. Five, four, three, Two, on your next one, go ahead and lean back a little bit. Here or here, 20 seconds. Sitting up a little bit taller. Lengthen that spine. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Good, breathe and hold. 10 seconds, you got it. Last five. Four, three, two, and bring it down. Turn your hips just a little bit so your inside elbow can come down. Inside hip is rotated, outside hip is lifted. Okay, outside heel is down. We're doing our angled crunch. Turning that foot, reaching for that heel, also targeting a little bit of inner thighs. We're doing 10 of these. Here we go. Take it in, up, that's one. So every time you do a knee crunch and inner lift, that's a count. So let's say eight to 10. I'm gonna go for 10, but if at eight you're good, you can stay there and rest the remainder of the time. Four, got it. Halfway through already. Seven. This is the eight coming up, so if you wanna rest, go for it. I'm gonna get two more in. Nine, and we're doing one more exercise on this side before we flip. I'll give you five seconds to finish that, and then you're gonna roll all the way over. Side plank position. Now, two different versions. I'm gonna show you modified and I'll show you advanced. Modified, hips are up, hands behind, rotate over, elbow towards the ground, and lift. Advanced, kick your legs out. Same thing, rotation and up. 
We're only doing eight of these. Pick it, knees down or feet up. Ready, set, here we go, rotate. Exhale, inhale. Count your own if you're not on mine, that's fine. That's six. Fine. Three, I've got two more, and then we're gonna take both those moves to the other side. And one. Very nice, drop it down. You don't have to see me. If you wanna just flip over, that's fine. I'm gonna turn this way so I am still facing you. So start with that angle. Inside hip and elbow down, outside hip is lifted. Plant this outside foot, knee crunch to the inner thigh. 10 repetitions, eight to 10 reps. Here we go, in, up, lift for 10. Nine, good, eight, seven. You got this, six, five, all right, that halfway point, you're doing great. Whew. Last two. Again, I'll give you a few seconds to finish up. That's my 10. And then whenever you get done with that, you can go ahead and rotate over. Decide if you're going to keep your knees down. Again, they'll be stacked, or if you wanna kick your legs out. Eight rotations, hands behind. Ready, lift up, hands. And let's go. So again, you can count your own, or you can go with me. That's eight. Exhale. Seven. We're so close to the end, I promise. Six. This is really our last big core move. Four. Take your time. Two. And one. Oh, beautiful. All right, once you get done with that, flip it over. Give me a quick child's pose. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. One more time. And we're gonna do a final move is your bird dog. So meet me in tabletop position. Stack the arms, stack those knees. Abs are engaged. Let's stay traditional today. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it down, other way. Go ahead and join me when you're ready. We'll just do one set for 30 seconds. Extend and down. And lower. Very nice. You got it. Breathing all the way through. Squeeze the glutes on top as well. Last 12 seconds right here. Five, four, three. Finish the last one. Go into a frogger pose. Hands down. Take the knees the width of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, sink back into those heels. Walk those fingertips away. Relax the head and breathe. Good job. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And if you'd like, you can either stay here or you can bring it up a little bit and do some frog rockers. Shifting forward, dropping the hips, lift the heart and chest. And then round the shoulders, sink back. So inhale, rock. Exhale, nice and easy, rock back. Good. Let's take about 10 more seconds, whether you're holding or rocking. And then if you're rocking, hold your last one back. Take one more full breath, inhale. And then exhale out. Good, slowly come on up. You can bring those knees in just a little bit. Back to tabletop, thread the needle, one hand down. One arm threads underneath, dropping the head and shoulder. Pull to here. I've demonstrated before rotations, which you can do if you want, or you can just stay stationary here with me. Opening that lower back a little bit. Feeling the shoulder. Good, inhale, center up. Exhale, thread the other arm underneath. Dropping the head and shoulder, hips stay high. And then we're gonna slowly come back up to tabletop. All right, from here, either child's pose or meet me in downward facing dog. If you're down dogging, curl the toes, engage that core, lift those knees hovering. Exhale, pop those hips up. 
cuddle up those feet, drop the head, shake it out, spread those fingertips. And then when you're ready, press those heels down. Inhale, reach one leg up to the ceiling. And then exhale, we're gonna take this to a lizard. Step that foot to the outside of the hands or your mat. Now for lizards, you can go ahead and keep that knee floating for a moment and just kind of wiggle it out. Or you can drop that knee. And then once you have that, feel free to add a rotation, take it to your forearms, whatever feels good. good. One more breath in and out where you're at. And then if you twisted like me, if you went on your forearms, let's go ahead and meet back in the center, plant the hands down. Taking this to pigeon next, pick up the back toe, swoop that front leg underneath yourself, and then slowly drop those hips, let them settle, and then again, you can stay here or you can walk it out onto your forearms. And just try to let the hips relax. You might naturally want to tense up and just kind of sink into the floor. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, so we're transitioning this move to another one that you may or may not be new to you. Go ahead, bring yourself up. Come up a little bit, scooch this front knee back, and then take your other, the other leg that's extended, take that knee and tuck it behind that front knee. Now you look like this. And then you're gonna walk your hands back and come to a seated position. I'm gonna turn and face you so you can see what you look like. This is called cow face pose. Your knees are stacked, your feet are to the side. This is another one for the hips. And then from here, you can walk your hands out. And it's a little bit intense, it can be. So if this is enough, stay there. If you wanna play around with it and try to get your elbows to touch the ground, you can. Go ahead, keep holding that. All right, now to get out of this, we're going to come up a little bit, walk our hands forward, and then from here, you can unravel your legs. Go into a high plank, inhale, exhale back to your down dog. All right, here we go, left leg up, inhale, exhale, let's go to your lizard. Step that foot to the outside of your mat, other way we're doing. So lizard, if you wanna take a moment with the knee floating, you can wiggle it out. And then when you're ready, slowly drop that knee, flatten up the top part of your foot. Stay here, forearms or twist. Whatever feels good. Good, one more breath. And then if you twisted or went on your forearms, go ahead, center up. Take it to your pigeon, pick up the back knee, swoop that front leg underneath. Take a moment to let those hips settle in. And then you can stay high or again, walk it out. So yes, lots of hip stretches today. I feel like you can never get too many hip stretches. <laughs> Good, breathe. And then last thing we have coming up is that cow face pose. We'll get into it together. Come up if you want your forearms. All right, go ahead and scooch this front knee back. Tuck the other one right behind it. Bring those feet out to the side and then walk your hands back so you're in a seated position. And then once you're there, feet out to the side and then you can go back and you can try to walk it back out. Hands or forearms, the side's a lot tighter on me, so <laughs> forearms work the first time, not so much here. Let's just kind of play around with it. Great. All right, final time, let's get out of this. Walk it forward. Go ahead and give yourself some space. High plank, drop the knee, sink back child's pose just for one breath. And then you can come on up, seated position, facing me. Last things, let's go ahead and place one hand down, one arm up and over, take it down to that forearm. Inhale, exhale, turn to rotate. See if you can look at that ceiling and open up the space in that lower back. Good, face me, inhale, exhale, big windmill, reach, 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 reach. Other side, start right here, and then take a breath in, and then on the exhale, turn and rotate. Look at that ceiling. Good, center up, face me. 
Interlace those fingers behind. Open up that chest and heart and give me a deep breath in. Exhale out. Arms in front, round the upper back. Inhale, reach all the way into your ceiling. And let it all go. Fantastic job. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Great job on completing that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time.